Ahoy there, my heart is shiver me timbers. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Inkslaura123. Welcome to this video. It's going to be the pirate ship tag, okay? It's a book tag with a pirate theme. Hence, I've got all my pirateness around me. So I've got my little flag here. I've got my bandana with my skulls on. And behind me, I have a parrot <laughs> this used to talk this parrot but now it doesn't talk anymore and I've tried to put like new batteries in but it doesn't want to talk anymore anyway um, also I've got this little ship here I got this in a charity shop it's so cool this sits on one of my bookcases upstairs so yeah I got that and behind me I have a globe over here because you know the pirates have to work out where they're going on their next voyage, you know. Um, <laughs> I just can't do the pirate voice. Ahoy there! Shiver me timbers! Anyway, right, so, let me tell you what is going on. Okay, basically, I watched a video the other day by Dane Reads, and I absolutely love his channel, he's so cool, he makes brilliant, brilliant videos. He's a really nice, friendly person, and I love the fact that he's so, like, passionate about his reading and about books and yeah I really enjoy his channel I watched this video he'd done and I just thought it was so fun and I was like can I do it can you tag me so he did officially tag me and said that I could do this tag so yeah I'm really excited to do the pirate tag it's basically a book tag with a pirate theme so um yeah I've got my questions here and I've also got a big old pile of books that I'm gonna be using I was going to attempt to kind of hold up all the books like in the pile to just like you know show you and then I was like no if I do that I'm going to drop all the books on the floor it's going to be a disaster so I'm just going to kind of show you them as I go along okay um, so basically all the answers uh, to the questions have to be like book related so that can be a book title it can be a book character that kind of thing okay um, so yeah I'm very excited to do this so let's get started okay so um first of all actually what i had to do um i'll put the link down below there was this website the pirate name generator okay um and so i went on that and you put your name in and it gives you a pirate name and i put in minx laura and it gave me back disastrous eleanor scar so there you go that's my pirate name apparently hello nice to meet you i'm disastrous eleanor scar um as i say i'll put the link down below it is quite a funny website because you just get all these like funny random pirate names anyway i found it funny anyway so that's that okay so question number one is name your ship so pick a book title that you want as a name of your fearsome vessel so for uh for that one i have chosen one of my favourite books of all time, which is this one, A Crooked Kingdom. Definitely one of my favourite books of all time. I love it. Um, and I just think it's a pretty cool name for a pirate ship, Crooked Kingdom. Because, you know, they go to different kingdoms and, well, pirates are a bit naughty and crooked. So, yeah, I love this book so much. Like, seriously, I love it, I love it, I love it. So that's that. Um, next up... I have my phone here as well, by the way, just to help me with my answers, because I knew I'd forget things. Um, next up, <laughs> question number two is pick your flag. So that can be a creature or a monster from a book that you've read uh, to be put on your flag of your pirate ship. And for that one, I have chosen this little book here, <laughs> which is... <laughs> which is a book of unicorns okay so this is uh, unicorns believe in magic i like this little book it's just got like really cute pictures and stuff and affirmations about unicorns and yeah so basically i would have um a unicorn on the flag because like other ships would be around right and they think oh you know they're probably weak and vulnerable and sweet because they like unicorns but really, we'd be like, you know, tough pirates. So it's kind of putting them off a bit, you know, making them think we're nicer than we actually are. We're naughty pirates. So, yeah, I would have um, a unicorn on my flag. Okay, number two. No, no, not number two. <laughs> Done that. Oh, no. I've been on the old rum. I haven't been on the rum, really. I'm teetotal. Number three 
is uh, <laughs> pick your uh, first mate. So a book character to be your second in command. Okay, so you've got to trust this person. They're your second in command. You've got to put all your faith or your trust in them. And for that, I have chose this book here and this character, Tessa Gray. From all, all instruments, the infernal devices. This is one of my, I would say, favourite books in the whole Mortal Instruments series. I love this book, especially the cover, like where she's holding open the book and it's like coming alive. And yeah, Tess is one of my favourite characters. I love it. Uh, so this is Clockwork Princess, and I choose uh, the lovely Tessa to be my second in command. Okay. So the next one is um, a navigator. You are looking for a navigator who is going to guide your ship on the ocean, okay? Uh, so they've got to be quite good at travelling. They've got to know where they're going, right? And for that, I have chosen this book here and this character who is... I don't know why, but I had a weird kind of book crush on this character. I know, it's a bit weird, but anyway. So this is Monty. Uh, as you can see, what a lovely cover. I love this book cover. Uh, so this is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, one of my favourite books as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he obviously travels and he knows kind of what he's doing and where he's going. And if he does, then he kind of just goes with the flow and ends up okay. Um, this is such a cool book, by the way. You have to check out this book. Um, yeah, his real name's Henry, but he goes by the nickname Monty. So I would choose him to kind of guide the ship. So... There we go. Uh, next question is um, two characters from a book um, that could be your raiding crew. So basically they board the enemy ship and they fight for you. You know, they stand up for you, they fight for you and do their thing. So they've got to be a bit tough and scary and wild. Um, so for that, I've chosen two characters. Uh, the first one is from this book here and uh, this is by Ken Dear Blake it's called Three Dark Crowns can't wait for number three to come out can I just say that hopefully hopefully it'll be this year um, and I've chosen Catherine who's one of the uh, sisters and she's a poisoner so okay she's not like physical like you know going out and punching people and kicking them but she can poison them so she can be like you know if anyone messes with us she can be like and poison them brilliant skill to have and that is a great book by the way and next up, I've also chose to kind of join her, Eli from uh, Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Um, this was a fantastic book. I love V.E. Schwab books. Like, she's such a good author. And Eli is, like, quite twisted and nasty and tough. And I don't know, I think he'd be good, like, fighting for our team. So that is that. Um, next up, I uh, have... Uh, the question is, The Doctor... So you're looking for someone to be on board your ship who is good at healing people, you know, making them feel better. Um, you know, obviously, if they're not feeling good, if they've had something go wrong with them, they need to be mended. Um, so for that, I have chose the one and only Magnus Bane. I love Magnus Bane. Another kind of book crush, like, character. Does anyone else have, like crushes on book characters, or is it just me? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, Bane Chronicles, by the way. Love this book, filled with amazing, like, short stories. Um, so, yeah, Magnus, obviously, you know, a very magical creature. He could, like, make you better. Whatever's wrong with you, he could heal you and give you, like, a magic potion to make you better and, yeah, heal all your wounds. So I've chosen Magnus. Uh, next up, you are looking for someone to be the lookout, okay? So the character to trust, to watch out for danger and spot all, like, you know, problems happening. And for that... Um, once again, I have chose Magnus because he's just like always on the ball. He always knows what's going on. He always turns up when he needs to be there. Something bad happens, Magnus appears, you know. Um, so I've chosen for that as well. Uh, the next one is um, the entertainment. So you're looking for someone to entertain the ship, okay? It's cold, long nights on the ship. People sometimes get a bit, mm, you know, pirates on the ship. You need entertainment on that ship. Someone to entertain your lovely pirate crew. And for that, I have chosen the lovely Cecilia. I call her Cecilia, but I think it's Celia. Anyway, uh, <laughs> from the Night Circus. And she's obviously an illusionist, so she can create lots of beautiful magic and illusions. And everyone will be like, whoa, that's so entertaining. So, yeah, that's uh, for that one. And last but by no means least, uh, we need someone to poop deck 
swabber. Basically someone who's going to be like cleaning and getting all the crap off the boat, okay? Um, and for that one, I have chosen to clean and scrub the deck. The uh, horrible Gaston from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Now, I haven't got the original Beauty and the Beast, but I do have this book here, which I got in a charity shop recently, which I'm looking forward to read at some point. Uh, so this is a kind of twisted towel version, and it says, what if Belle's mother cursed the beast? Um, but yeah, pretty cool looking as well. I like the cover. But I thought I'd choose Gaston because he's kind of vain, he's arrogant, you know what I mean? I think it'll bring him down a peg or two if he's having to clean and scrub the floor and the, you know, he'd be all like dirty and that. he'd hate that. He'd be like, oh my God, my hair, you've ruined my hair. So that would be quite funny to put someone in his arrogance uh, in that position on the boat. Whew, okay, so I think that is that. Apart from the fact that you do have to tag people uh, to do this as well. So I am tagging the following people to do this. Now, they don't have to do it, but it would be pretty cool if they did. So the first person I am tagging is Lisa West Coast Reads H. And then I'm tagging um, Sunshine Reader and also Kit Kats Can Read. So they are the three people. Um, but as I say, like if you're watching this and you would like to like get involved and like do this tag, that'd be really awesome and you should do it. So I tag you to do it. Okay. <laughs> so once again, um, I'll probably put the questions down below, like the tag questions down below in the description box and that will help you. I tell you it really annoys me, right? I tell you what really annoys me. It really, I'm going to tell the parrot at the same time. It's like a conversation with a parrot. You know what really annoys me of tags, right? People do tag videos, but they don't put the questions. They don't put the questions in the description box. It's really annoying. It's really annoying because you have to sit there with a pen and you have to like write everything down. It's so much easier if someone just does it for you. <laughs> but that I'm just being really lazy. But I will put um, the questions to the tag down below in the description box so yeah <laughs> Ow, i'll put my claws away um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video it's been random but i've really enjoyed it and like to try and think of like different characters for the questions like some of it was easy to do my bandanas there you go um some of it was easy to do as other questions i was like ah, who would i choose kind of thing but um yeah like if anyone ever wants to tag me in book tags I'm here. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't really feel part of the booktube community that much, which is quite sad, actually, because I'm, like, a complete bookworm. Um, like, there are a few, like, uh, like a handful of booktubers that are really lovely to me, really friendly. They watch my videos. I watch theirs. We comment each other, that kind of thing. Um, but, in general, I don't feel part of it. Like, it's quite sad. Because, as I say, I am, like, a proper bookworm nerd. I read all the time. I go out, you know, book shopping, I watch YouTube videos about books and, you know, I, I try and like get involved with the community on Bookstagram, on, you know, the Instagram thing, but I just so feel part of it. You know, I never get tagged in stuff on here and like I try and like be friendly with other booktubers, but they're just like, meh. It's quite sad. As I say, there are a few people who have really welcomed me into the booktube community and been nice to me and I love their videos, um, but other times I just feel like... I don't know. I think partly it's because I'm like only kind of like a part-time booktuber because this channel, you know, is my vlog channel and I don't do only book videos. I think that could possibly be the issue. Either that or they just hate me, find me really annoying, which I could also understand. But um, I am annoying, let's face it. But yeah, I mean, I'm a part-time booktuber. So, you know, you know, maybe if my channel was called, I don't know, Minx, Minx Reads or something, it might attract more different like book tubers kind of thing but i think because it's wacky world and there's different things on this channel whether it's shopping hauls or vlogs or you know whatever it's not just books is what i'm trying to say um but yeah i don't know i just feel like i want to get more involved with the booktube community because I, I you know i consider myself a booktuber as well because i make book videos a lot and i i love reading and yeah getting all emotional right now <laughs> i'm not emotional but do you know what i mean anyway i'm gonna shut up now Please click like, please comment, please subscribe and come and check me out on social media. So Instagram is MinxLaura123 and Twitter is at MinxLaura123 and Facebook, my bandana keeps riding up, Facebook is MinxLaura.5.
um also i have goodreads i love goodreads goodreads is life uh so if you want to follow me on goodreads i'll put the link to my goodreads page down below as well so you can see what books i've read there's been a lot you can see the books i'm currently reading and also you can see the books that i want to read in the future um, one last thing actually before i go this is nothing to do with the pirate tag i'm so sorry um but I've actually been listening to an audiobook, which I've never done. Like, well, I say I've never done. When I was a little girl, I used to listen to, like, the little ladybird ones, like Dracula and Frankenstein. But as an adult, I've never listened to an audiobook. Um, I've tried in the past to, like, listen to audiobooks, but they just kind of make me sleepy and I'm, like, <sighs> fall asleep. But I find if I listen to them during the day while I'm awake it's like yeah this is really cool so what I've been doing like while I've been working or editing things like that pop my headphones in and just listen to like a story and it's really great like it's really like a whole new lease of life for me this is really sad but I love it you know so um yeah the one I'm listening to at the moment is called The Duff I can't remember it's by now but it's really cool I really am enjoying it so while I'm in work I just like listen to it or edit in and yeah, it's like someone telling me a little story. Do you listen to audiobooks? Let me know. Um, and do you recommend any good audiobooks out there or stories that you think I would like? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the old audiobook thing. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. And me and the pirate are going to go and have some, have some rum. And then I'm going to get on the pirate ship. <laughs> You can't say I didn't try to like get some props. <laughs> I like the bandana, but it is a little bit uncomfortable and it keeps like riding up. Oh, my hair is ruined now. Oh no. Look at this. I don't know what's happened to my hair now. The bandana has like totally ruined it. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, everyone, take care. Bye. <laughs>